Hello and welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays. Each Tuesday a member of the patient safety learning team will be highlighting a hot topic on patient safety and what action is needed to be taken to address it. My name's Helen Hughes, I'm Chief Executive of Patient Safety Learning. This is the fourth of four hot topics this month. I'm going to be concentrating on Baroness Cumledge's report, First Do No Harm. It was published recently and is yet to receive a response from the government. It's a very comprehensive report. It's also a very harrowing and shocking report to read. It amplifies the voices of women that have not been listened to for so very, very long. These voices identify the scale and severity of harm going back decades to thousands of women that is just truly ghastly to read. This has been a problem hidden in plain sight and is now being exposed. The themes within it are themes, patient safety themes, going back decades, including issues that were included in the Patterson report recently. Again, another report that has yet to be responded to by the government. And they're not just causal factors that we identify within the patient safety community, they are quality factors, because these women described that they were dismissed because the pain and injury they suffered were seen to be women's issues. We know there are other groups that are experiencing similar responses from the healthcare system, such as the hysteroscopy action group that we're working with. This is not just a patient safety issue, this is an equality issue. It's also an issue of failed leadership and a regulatory gap, in our view, within patient safety learning. And I'm going to highlight that with a quote from Baroness Cumberledge, who says the healthcare system is disjointed, silos, unresponsive and defensive. We think that the response to do no harm should be set in the context of a systematic understanding of why care is unsafe in health and social care system that we've outlined in our report Blueprint for Action with the six foundations of care that we identify that is needed. Do you agree that a transformational change is needed in the health and social care system to address this? If you do, we'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments, which you can add to or below this uh, video, uh, and we will show a link to the blog of proposed action. Thank you for listening and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.